hello dearies today we are going to learn how to make a fabric bow tie and a pocket square these are your requirements your fabric as usual your iron for ironing your fabric your glue gun your needle and thread your tape measure then your scissors so let's get started first of all you have to make sure you've ironed your fabric to make it straight oh i forgot one thing your distance you're going to need a hard stiff i want to less using sewing men collar so you iron your fabric you make sure it's very straight iron it nicely then you measure six inches by ten inches on your fabric you measure six inches by ten inches that's the normal measurement for a bow tie if you want it a, a, a bit bigger than this you can use 12 inches by 8 but we are using the normal measurements 6 inches by 10 inches so this is our 6 inches you cut this is our 6 inches then you mark it with your scissors mark it here with your scissors Then your 10 inches that way. Your 10 inches this way. So you mark that side too. Then you cut. You cut the fabric out. So this is our 6 inches by 10 inches fabric cut out. Then you measure 4 inches by 2 inches fabric. Then you cut that one too out. This is what you are going to use to cross the, the middle parts to give the bow shape. So, this type of our bow, we are not going to use, um, we are not going to use needle and thread to sew. We are just going to fold it. We look for the wrong side and the right side of the cloth. So, you can see that this is the right, the front of the cloth and that is the back of the cloth so you fold your cloth this way into two to get the center Just to get the center then you open it so you have a line here you fold this to the center line then you fold this side to to the center line this way after you fold it into two again this way you fold it into two to get a center fold it into two so this is your center line then you open it again let me even iron it small to give it a shape so you get your center here again then you open it you fold this side to the center you fold the other side to to the center then after this you put this shape on top of your stiff so after this you bring your your two by four inches fabric then you fold it this way this is the wrong side so you fold in this way then you iron you fold in the other way too then you iron you see how I did the folding you see it then this one on top then you iron after you pour a little glue 
here to mend the two sides together a little don't put plenty but those who know how to sew too can sew i did this because of those without sewing skills so that they can also make some you iron it so now we are coming to form our bow we are going to use this elastic for the neck time we are going to use this elastic so you measure 15 inches 15 inches normally we measure the circumference of the neck but in a case whereby you are doing it you are you are doing it already made like you don't have a customer you are just doing and selling you use 15 inches that one is the normal um circumference next circumference for adults so you measure your 15 your 15 then you cut you measure your 15 then you cut It becomes this way. You have to sew it first. This time you cannot just mend it with the glue. You have to sew it. So you are going to use our needle and thread to do the sewing. You sew this part. You are not using loose stitch. Oh, this one is mach machine stitches. So you go. You finish sewing. You make sure it is very firm it can't easily remove you saw about three four times before you you cut your thread so you continue you sew it so after the sewing this is your elastic now you are going to hide this one here so you, you fold your you fold your tie this way this in like a pleat this this comes this the other one comes then this then you put your tire here you put it on top here like this put your tire here then you bring your fabric the one you are going to use to cross you make sure you are crossing at the center the middle part if you don't do it it will become one side will be bigger than the other so you put this here on top of your tie then you move around when you put it on top of the tie you put a little glue you put a little glue then you move around this way you move back and you come back from this side you have to make sure you are tying at the center it shouldn't be be at the edge it should be at the center so you go around again you always have to make sure the excess fabric wouldn't end at the front side of your tie it should always be inside it should always be inside here yeah. then you mend it with the glue mend it with the glue after you can use your needle and thread to do a little hem here very small it shouldn't be showing it should be very 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 small small so after that hem your bow tie is ready you cut the excess thread and your bow tie is ready this is the normal size for the normal measurement for men but if you want it big as i said if you want it bigger than this you can use the 8 by 12 the 8 by 12 measurements to do it this same design we can use it 
for our flip flop you can put it on top of your flip flop you can cover this side with a brooch brooch back to make a brooch all the designs you can you can use it for anything you can use it for a hair band a hair clip you can just attach it to your hair comb to make a hair comb that is all we are coming to make a handkerchief so now for the handkerchief you just measure 10 inches by 10 inches on your fabric then you cut it out with your zigzag scissors because we don't sew the edges some people sew the edges but i don't sew the edges so i use my zigzag scissors to cut my 10 inches by 10 inches after you iron and you fold it so 10 inches by 10 inches then you cut it out cut it out it shouldn't be that big so 10 inches by 10 inches fabric then you iron it to give it a, a nice shape after iron it this is the front of the fabric and the back is behind so you just fold it you can fold it anyway you can fold it this way in a triangular way this way then you fold it back this way and you fold it back again you have this one there you have this then the, the man will put this in the pocket or you can do it this way then you use an industrial machine to stitch this side so that the man will just put this in the pocket or put it in the pocket put in the pocket this way just put push it down so normally we just leave it like it it serves like a handkerchief just put a little in the push it into the pocket then leave the top there to match with the bow tie so that is all thank you thank you thank you bye bye